So today I'm not doing nothing. It's just, it's Friday. I love the color black on my nails and I decided to get them longer, but I hate it. Like I, like I hate it. I feel like I look like a witch. So what I'm actually about to go do is go get my nails done and I'm gonna go get a wax. I don't know if that's TMI, but I was just like, take y'all along with me. Of course I can't record. I don't know if y'all heard that or not. But of course I can't record like me actually getting the wax. Like I um, like I tried to do the other time because you can't actually be recording it in the room. So like I said, the, um, <laughs> like I said, the makeup look is gonna be real simple because I'm literally not really doing that much today. I'm just priming my face with the Wet n Wild. Um, it's a mattifying primer. I should put the mirror right there so I can see. <laughs> I always use a mattifying primer because it just like my my makeup going a lot smoother. And I just like the mattifying look. I don't like looking dewy or looking like skin like. I'm going to just fill in my eyebrows. Try to do it really quickly with the Ardell Dip Bar Pomade and this angle brush. I absolutely love this product. I want to invest and get the Anastasia Dip Brow and just be flawless. <laughs> usually I would take font and put it like where my bags are just because I feel like I have dark circles. I just personally don't feel like putting on that much makeup today. I'm just going to use my MAG powder foundation in C55 and then this fluffy brush is Innovation Beauty. My sister got it for me for Christmas from TJ Maxx I think. So you know go in that beauty section. So when I apply my powder foundation I literally just dig 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 my brush in there and apply it all over my face. Um, it's not a full coverage, but it definitely makes the difference. And I like wearing it personally because my, my skin isn't that problematic. I just have a few discoloration like around my eyes, around my nose, and on my lip. And it definitely cancels that out. I set my eyebrows too when I'm doing like a quick face like that. Just because you see how much lighter it is, how much natural it is. And it also helps with that um, concealer to blend. Since font is like maybe a shade lighter than me. So I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Glow Kit. This is a throwback Thursday. Um, I always use Dripping in Gold, which is not the uh, darkest one, but it's like closest to that. And I mix them most of the time just because I like, I like the look that it gives. Because golden, it doesn't really look right on my skin. The darkest one by itself. So like I said, I mix them with, but it's mostly dripping in gold. Then I take a smaller brush. I don't know if y'all can see that. I use strictly dripping in gold under my um, brow bone just because it's lighter and I like that effect that it um, gives off under the brow. So yeah, that's pretty much all I do right here. I usually put on mascara. I don't feel like doing that today. I don't, personally, I'm not a big fan of mascara. A lot of my friends use, but you see how it's different. It looks different in different lighting. A lot of my friends like this Fenty Beauty Gloss. I really don't have nowhere to pop y'all up in my bathroom, but I'm gonna put it on. I don't like the color that it gives up on my lips. I'm gonna put it on and show y'all what I mean. But today, for some reason, I like how the lip gloss looks. I like how the lip gloss looks, and these are just, this is just the edge control I use on my edges. I'm not a real big fan of edges. I really don't know how to do edges like that. But this is as good as it's going to get. So, excuse my mess. But as far as accessories, I just do my Apple Watch. Y'all know that. And then I'm just going to do like, you know, I love this lotion, y'all. I know I said this in my, um, I think it was a day in the life. But y'all, when I say I love this lotion, I love this lotion. I have on biker shorts and, um, loose t-shirt i'll talk about that later and then i combine a lot of perfumes just because i'm a perfume junkie now i use glitter hustle and daisy Hayes. both of those are from victoria's secret i think and now hopefully this 
goes well because I was literally just in here yesterday. <laughs> but um, yeah, I got them changed. I walked in there. Well, I text me at like 120 and I text her when I first got in there. These are what they look like. I have black on my toes still. I didn't get my toes changed just because I'm, I'm super indecisive. Like I said, okay, I'm super indecisive. And I, uh, cause originally, like even when, as soon as she finished my nails, I said, oh, I don't like these. And I knew I was gonna come to get them changed. And so yesterday when I was thinking about coming to get them changed, I was like, I love the contrast. Well, I don't love. I like the contrast of like black on my toes and white on my nails. So I stuck with the black on my toes. And so now, I don't know if y'all have seen Nia. So um, I asked her if she wanted to go with me because we were talking about it yesterday because we came and got our nails done together yesterday. So I'm about to go get Nia and then I'm going to get a wax. Do my eyebrows look too strong for the face? Do y'all like the face? Y'all let me know. Let me know what y'all think. We made it. So when you first get here, you start me in um, paperwork and stuff. So that's what we're doing. We'll talk to y'all about that experience afterwards. I'm here. <laughs> It's Nia. This is my reward after that horrible experience. <laughs> hey, say it again. Beauteous pain. We'll tell y'all about the experience in the car or whatever. But uh, we just stopped at Moe's. I got a chicken and cheese quesadilla. Some queso, that's sour cream. She got some flashy. Got a stack. Let me see the other side. What's this? I'm gonna see how you know what side they put on the grill or you don't. That's the grill. Uh, I'm so fascinated. But yeah. I found me, you guys. So I just want to really quickly tell y'all. I'm going to wait till I stop having my lean up. About like tips for like when you get in a wax, if you want to get a wax. Because uh, I did it on the other vlog and y'all asked me. So my experience today was great. I was, you know, Nia's wasn't the same. But okay, I mean, they're gonna tell you everything. Which, which you mean when you get in a wax? Yeah, but it's just like okay. So well, all, your first one is always the worst, just because you don't really like you don't really know what to expect. But like for me, I'm not that hairy. So after like the first two, this is my third one. After the first two. Like today, I it was very thin and it's very sparse. Like, so it didn't. It really didn't even hurt that bad. I did get my armpits and oh, how was that? It felt good. Like <laughs> it was weird. Cause I it, wanted to do that, but I like just shaved them, so it wasn't. Yeah, you, you have to have like enough hair. Yeah. But yeah, I wanted to. Ooh, it almost fell. Sorry. <laughs> I, um. Crazy with the terms. I want to do that. It was just like a quick, and I was like, oh, okay. But um, but then my armpit, my first time shaving my armpits was going to junior prom. So my armpit hair don't even grow. Like I don't grow hair on my legs. My arms aren't like there is hair there, but it's really light. First of all, so you really can't see it, and it's there. But um. Yeah, I was gonna say, only thing I was gonna tell y'all is when you go, like for your first time, I wear loose clothing. That's why I showed y'all my clothes earlier. Mm -hmm. Because like the first time, it was, it's actually tender. Like I put my, like the band on my leggings, I pull it up on my, like it hurts. Like, so that's just my pain. Cause my pain tolerance is very low. But if I had to, I don't even know how to, it's just ripping. Just, Uh, I mean, like I said, she's not like really like a hairy person. I am, so I mean, I'm not like a werewolf, but I just do have like my hairs grow a lot thicker and longer, and 
faster like a chia pet <laughs> like literally like i'll shave my underarms and like the next day the next day it's like halfway i'm not exaggerating so uh, the first time it hurt i don't remember it hurting that much just because it went by so fast because my hairs were like so thick or whatever like they didn't like get all of it then this time this was her third this your third time mm -hmm. this was her third time this was my second time and then like the first time we got it we got it it was christmas break and now it's summer and in between then i was shaving mm. don't do that <laughs> when you shave in between getting your waxes it makes it hurt so much worse like worse than the first time like it's really really bad so even though this was my second time it hurt worse than the first time because i was being grown don't shave just yeah. don't and it's hard because like at school i don't have a place at school and then i didn't always come home that much to get to get it done but whenever you can get it done get it waxed you can shave in between you know do what you want but don't it's don't gonna hurt it. like it's gonna hurt really 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 right we gotta um it's gonna hurt really 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 bad it might even bleed a little bit mm -hmm. don't let that alarm you but just the pores are so open and swollen mm -hmm. it might bleed or whatever but yeah just um yeah you'll make it through though because we hurts. went together on our first time which was christmas break then my second time was when I showed y'all. That was like a little bit before I came home, like maybe two weeks before I came home. And then this is my third time. So if you like me, so whenever that vlog was, whenever I uploaded it, you gotta go a week before that. So, no, I uploaded that vlog late. But still, it's like my hair was so thin then and this time it didn't hurt to where i don't even have to go back if because you did do every right. four weeks i go back now every six weeks <laughs> um yeah i like when you shave it starts like the whole thing over and then it's just now i wasn't i'm not gonna lie my second time like i said it was a bad like i was like Whoa. she went to different people right oh that's another thing i forgot i'm glad you said that so these the first and the third time her first her only time it's Brazilian Wax by Andrea. My second time, I went to the European Wax Center. I'm not a big fan of the European Wax Center only because I feel like, and the lady kept it honest with me, their wax isn't for people with like coarser hair, if you if you get what I'm saying. Black people so, hair. So it was kind of like, she kept trying and trying and it hurt. <laughs> because it was like she wants to get as much as possible and they're also more expensive like your first time at the european wax center is 25 but every other time after that is 50 dollars versus with andrea a brazilian is 35 and if i want to do a full body i can do 65 but a full body is upper lip brazilian armpit and legs like i said i don't have it on my arm i mean on my legs and i don't need that so I just did arm. That should include eyebrows. I, I I did think about that when I did like this. Because why I was, not? Right. I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, it's sixty five for a full body, and but yeah, like I said, it's definitely an experience. I definitely recommend waxing over shaving. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Despite the pain, and it is really really worth the results because you're not gonna have to shave as much. Um. It looks prettier, like you know. Like, I'm just saying versus like scars and ingrown. Hair. I don't have a problem with that either, but like scars, ingrown hair. What's I do though. Uh, with uh, not high. Is it high pigmentation? pigmentation? Discoloration and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's that, and, but the waxing heals all of that over time. Right. Yeah. So if you do have that and you're like, how do I get rid of it? This is an alternative option. But yeah, um, I don't think we're doing nothing the rest of the day. Um, I just wanted to do like a girl talk, like a girl's quote unquote vlog, because I know like people that watch it like going to college or in high school. Most people are, like my audience. So, and y'all been asking about Nia, so here's Nia. Y'all have? Girl, where's Nia? Where's Nia? Where's Nia? Where's Nia? Where's Nia? I'm here out in these streets living my life. Girl, what's going on? Not Miss Salt. 
we got Miss Sophomore with us. We are, we are exclusive. Oh God. We are exclusive. Oh yeah, that is a thing, I guess. She is Miss Sophomore at a and so y'all go wish Nia luck in all her future endeavors and her queen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I definitely keep you posted. Um, one of these days, I'll man up. Oh, what if we do like a vlog from like your perspective? Like oh, I'm, yeah. I'm at a game vlogging, right. and then like you vlogging, and you like just send me all of that. I can do that. I have. See, that's the thing. So because some of you, not too many of you, but like over time, there may have been like ten of you. If you're watching this, yeah. that have DM me. I mean, I don't think I tell. They be DMing everybody. Bliff. Yeah, they DM me and like, oh, or this the girl on campus crew. one time yeah. was I was in her class and she was like, I see you on YouTube. Yeah. And I was like, you have or like Trey's little sister. Mm -hmm. She watches your channel. Um, She's like, do you know this girl? And it was me. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, small world, but I say that to say, you're like, oh, are you gonna do your own thing? So I man up one day and right. um, really just broadcast that experience if that's something that anybody's interested in. And comment down below if you want me to make a YouTube channel. Oh god! And then we gotta put the wax place in the description box. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't change. But yeah, see y'all 